So today we are going to talk about types of batteries used in electric vehicles and their parameters. The three types of rechargeable batteries recognized by automobile manufacturers that are suitable for electric car use are lithium ion batteries, nickel metal hydride batteries and lead acid batteries. So let's start with the lithium ion battery. In the early 1990s, lithium batteries came into the commercial. Holding an elevated energy density unlike most batteries, these are unlikely to lose their charge when not being used. This is a feature called self-discharge. Science is all about innovation and several experts have given credence to lithium ion batteries that are about the closest science has come to advancing an ideal rechargeable battery. This type of battery is the finest choice for powering electric cars of the imminent future. Although these batteries are prohibitively expensive, but still are the most frequently used batteries in electric vehicles. This probably stands to be their biggest disadvantage. Their production costs are known to be 40% higher than of nickel batteries. However, all out research on the technology behind the battery has led to a decrease in production cost. The lithium ion battery is one third the weight compared to the lead acid batteries. It also has three times the cycle life and is three times more powerful. Let's move on to the nickel metal hydride battery. This came into commercial use a little earlier in the 1980s. The nickel metal hydride batteries have superior specific energy to the lead acid ones. With a theoretical voltage of 1.2 volts, the nickel metal hydride batteries indicate the quantity of energy stored in the battery. Although it is remarkably low compared to the lithium ion batteries and is recyclable. These batteries are proven well to use in EVs. You can expect your car to run over 100,000 miles with these batteries and an average of 5 to 7 years of battery life. Regarding the use in EVs, the disadvantages include low charging efficiency, self discharge up to 12.5% per day at room temperature and the heat generation rate during fast charging and discharging. Now let's move on to the lead acid battery. These are the oldest type of batteries. Formulated in 1859 and still being used, they are recyclable, they hold a mild solution of sulfuric acid and are a kind of wet cell battery. Lead acid batteries come with the advantage of being priced at a cheaper rate and have been in use for years. Lead acid battery technology is considered old fashioned but is still definitive and full grown. This battery type comes with a short lifespan of 3 years and requires inspection of electrolyte levels. Considering it is made from lead, they are heavy. They provide a sufficient energy of 25-50% to 50 of vehicle's total mass. Now that we have gone over the battery types, now let's see what battery parameters are to be considered. Chemical reactions generate electrons and there are various chemical reactions used in commercially available batteries. Most alkaline batteries are known to be disposable batteries. To avoid the constant replacement of automobile batteries, they must be rechargeable. Since you want the best for your EV application, these are the parameters you should be considering before picking up your battery type. Number 1. Lifespan Various factors influence the life cycle of a battery. You could give EV batteries a life cycle of 8 years or 160,000 kilometers. Some factors before picking up would be the purpose of the battery, operating conditions, the depth of battery discharge, but you can generally estimate EV battery's life as 8 years or 160,000 kilometers, which is 100,000 miles. Number 2. Safety Driving an EV takes a lot of power, which is why it must be managed properly. A carefully designed battery management system or BMS assures safe operation. Number 3. The cost Compared to the ICE vehicles, this is a disadvantage for EVs. The cost of a small ICE vehicle and an EV battery system is pretty much the same. The battery system is an important and significant part of electric vehicle. With the increase in demand for EVs, there is an increase in the requirement of better performance, reduced weight, better cycling ability and better driving range. So this was our video giving some insight on the batteries used in electric vehicles and there are more explainer videos coming up soon. So make sure to subscribe, like this video if you did learn something new and share this video with your friends as well and comment down below what are your thoughts on this topic or if you missed out on something important.